but it has been it has been tricky, right? Working from home, like it, it, it we we have so many bloopers because we're not. Hey, Pooja, like you're on CB24. I mean, we, you're still in that studio setting, and that's a contained Live. unit yeah. with experts, right? And in a building that's been doing this for years for us and many people. Look at the Golden Globes and their snafus. Like we've had to work through the kinks of of figuring out how to do this um, with, you know, kids getting in the way. Like, look, at your kids are, are, you know, all over it, right? All over our yeah. TVs. It's true. I mean, let's talk about working from home because it really has been a real shift in our mentality. It is so different I for so you said many something people. Else. Yeah, me too. And there's no... <laughs> Sorry, we thought you were gonna say a, a bleep show. Oh, I, thought <laughs> I didn't say that. No, no you didn't. That has almost happened before. Uh, from a head dad. Let's talk. I'm gonna start with talking about. I, I want to talk about our memorable moments that have happened from working from home. Anyone who is working from home who has children can relate to the idea of not really being able to contain them. They are kids especially if they're of a certain age or below a certain age. And so for all of us, I think that we've experienced, <laughs> those of us with kids, sort of little secret oh, visiting moments I where you can't. just... can't. Oh. <laughs> he pops up every once in a while, less so now. But especially at the beginning where, you, you know, he wasn't in school and it was just kind of like, you're just trying to... And people I remember would type in or write into us and be like, can't you control your kids? And it would be like, you know what? I have to say, let's do a shout out to all the kids out there and what they have endured. Like, this has been remarkable. They've had to adjust to, you know, no school, doing school remotely, social distancing, masks, parents working from home. And I mean, this, I, I just show you this quick video, which was um, during the first week we were off. Uh, I, I went out for a walk with Jaya and this was a moment that he had. So... How, Jaya, are you doing with uh, what do you with social distancing and um, being off school? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> I mean, that kind of just sums it up. That's how, he, that's how we all feel, Jaya. You hit it right on the head. I mean, right on the camera. Um, listen, you know what? And kids, speaking of which, you know, it's one thing Marquesa always kind of gets a, a kick out of mom being on TV. But when, especially in the earliest days and still till today, because she's in and out of the house all the time, mostly in, like you said, Sin, at a certain age, they still don't get when it's like, oh, mommy's on TV. You can't bother her. Because, of course, what kid understands that? It's like, this is my chance to misbehave and yeah. she can't stop me. <laughs> and so Marquesa loves those moments where she knows mommy has to stay focused. This was yesterday. <laughs> 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 she knew I was starting the show because I told her, which was she was like scheming. Now's my time, right? It's like I have to stop telling her I'm shooting the show because she's just like, give me my shot. And then she watches it back. We watch back the show at night with her dad, and and she's like, there's me. Like she just thinks this is the greatest thing on earth. But also because I'm hunkered down in my basement when she's home and we're on different levels, I really detest yelling and screaming. So we developed uh, a walkie-talkie system, a gift from her grandmother for her birthday, oh. uh, which we celebrated recently. And so we were walkie-talkieing just the other day, and that was a much more civilized way to communicate. Take a listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad, can you help me? Page 240. Over. <laughs> 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 I thought we got a good lessons for you. Well. Those were LOLs, and I was telling her what page to do for her homework. So wanna, that's better than yelling. So the thing, we have to adapt. I want to get walkie-talkies for me and Simon. You've inspired me. I'm going to do it. I have to say, guys, that it's actually been pretty there, – there have been some magical moments. Like, I've had the chance to interview the likes of, like, Michael Buble, as we saw, Roxanne Gay, and our prime minister – all while wearing gym shorts and sitting at my <laughs> dining room table. Like, that is what I call an honor. Maybe not an honor for them so much, but for me, you know? <laughs> You're, you're so right, Jess. I, I think that for a lot of us, like we have access to a lot of people maybe we wouldn't have in our studio mm -hmm. because it requires like being there in person. Whereas now with technology, we can beam into them from wherever we are. The downside 
is that sometimes technology can can let you down. Uh, you know, Pooja, I talked to you, like I mentioned, you're in studio where everything is contained. And in our studio, everything was contained. Now, it's like you're dealing with five or six studios, our own personal studios in our homes, plus our guest studios. We can't control our guest devices. We don't know what their internet speed is. We don't know how to troubleshoot with them. Like, it's really difficult. So there are times... When the person you are so desperate to interview and is your literary hero, it happens to be the day that the tech craps out and it's nobody's fault, but now you're staring at your hero, Roxanne Gay, and she is being so nice, but you know it's annoying to her. You know it's annoying to her. It must be. It's annoying to everyone. Like, check out how many times Jess and I had to apologize to Roxanne Gay because it took us half an hour to get her interview going. Roxanne, we know you have, um, we're so sorry to have taken up so much time, so we know you have a heart out, so we'll just get started with our questions, but please know we would have wanted to spend more time with you. So thank you so much for spending time with us, the limited amount of time. We wish we had more time. We're so sorry about the tech issues. Um, great to connect with you again. Look how much I'm so sorry. Yes, you're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. Do you remember she even tweeted about this moment obliquely like a couple of days or maybe like a day after sort of like complaining yeah complaining about she this name very thing <laughs> honestly people she did just name on us, zoom your alternatives she, don't I, work yeah i, I want to mention that i want to mention that because our viewers i you know you know when we're reading comments and people are like oh my gosh those girls they're always talking over each other i think we have to explain and maybe re-explain to some of our viewers that there is a delay. There is a technological delay between us. We don't hear each other in our earpieces in real time. And so there's apologizing for the tech over there. But the day-to-day -day tech for us is, is far from perfect. It's amazing that we're able to do it. But when people at home are like, ladies, stop talking over each other. It's like, we don't think we're talking over each other, but there's a delay. And therefore, for uh, viewers at home, you think we are. We love each other. We would never want to do it. But hey, technology, we're doing the best we can. <laughs> we are. And Roxanne Gay, we are doing the best we can. Please come back. Please call me. <laughs> I should just be clear, though. I just want to. She was super nice to us and super yeah. sweet. It's just mortifying. When you're here, you are, anyway, and I'm sure broadcasters around the world may have the same, like, have the same experiences with, with the tech. Can I yeah, just say, as is. a viewer yeah. you watching your show, that, uh, you know, just seeing your backgrounds, it's been very impressive, and a lot of questions, too. So, like, Jess, have you read every book behind you, or were you strategically <laughs> placing them for this shot? I like, I like to tell when any of our guests comment on this, I like to say, no, this is just wallpaper. These aren't real books. I don't even know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> They're mostly Simons, I'll be honest. I've read like 10%. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes me look super Room pretentious, Raider. so there's that. Yes, but Room Raider has been busy. Yeah. Room Raider has been busy with all of us, so there you go. <laughs> People are watching indeed. Um